Texas. We as a department should collectively be embarrassed. That is a quote from Knoxville Police Chief Paul Noel in a statement today concerning the death of Lisa Edwards. We brought you breaking news at 5 o'clock tonight. The KPD's internal investigation is complete and three officers have been punished for this. Edwards, as you probably know, passed out while an officer was taking her to jail and later died. Officers have been called to deal with Edwards when she refused to leave Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. Continuing coverage for you tonight, WAT6 on your side anchor Don Hudson taking a deeper look now into the new information, Don. Well, Bo and Lori, Chief Paul Noel says that along with specific violations by his officers involved, this investigation, and by the way, this is just part of the 900 pages that investigation reveals what he describes as a problem with how the department talks to people. I shattered my ankle and I had a stroke. Well, if the medical professionals have saw you and discharged you, they, they won't. I got nothing to do. With, I got nothing to do with that thing, but you got to get going. I can't even get down there. That's Sergeant Brandon Wardlaw talking to Lisa Edwards after security guards told her to leave the hospital. That and other interactions were cited as evidence that officers did not listen to Edwards when she tried to let them know about her health and her well-being. The report specifically faults Wardlaw, first officer on the scene, for accepting the security guard's account that she was faking it rather than her claim of serious medical issues. The report notes Edwards did not consider if her condition might be changing from what was described in the guard's 911 call. Now again, in the end, the report finds numerous policy violations by Sergeant Wardlaw, officers Timothy DeStasio and Adam Barnett. Those are unbecoming conduct, unsatisfactory performance, violating rules on treatment of prisoners, and courtesy violations. Now, Ward Law was also found to have neglected his duty at the highest ranking, uh, as the highest ranking officer, for allowing the security guards to touch Edwards and to search her bag, showing that he did not have control of the scene and he did not have control of the other officers. As for the punishments, Ward Law was demoted from sergeant to his previous rank, he's now a police officer again. Sassio, who was driving Edwards to jail, was suspended without pay for 10 days. Officer Barnett got a four-day unpaid suspension. Now, as there was a fourth officer, he's the driver of the transport wagon. He was put under scrutiny in all of this, but he was clear. The investigation points out that he recognized Edwards was having trouble breathing and that he would be held responsible if she died, which investigators say amounted to the most right decision even though he was the most junior of all those officers. Lori? Don, thank you so much. Now, Knoxville Mayor India King Cannon also shared her condolences to the Edwards family. Yeah, she says she supports Chief Noel's decision to take disciplinary action, but says more can and will be done to reduce mistakes and misconduct within KPD. In a statement, she says she is, quote, appalled by the behavior of our officers and their interactions with Ms. Edwards. She continued to say, quote, I expect all employees, especially our police officers, to treat people with dignity and respect, no matter the circumstances.